Hello guys, in this video we will talk about what is a Bastion host and how we can use that to access our EC2 instances in a private subnet. So let's get started. So a Bastion host is a server in a public subnet that is used to access and manage EC2 instances in a private subnet in the same VPC. It acts as a jump server allowing administrators to log into the instances in the private subnet using SSH protocol. So this is the most simplistic definition of a Bastion host and I hope now you have some idea about what is a Bastion host. Now let me take you to the AWS EC2 console and show you how a Bastion host works. Okay guys, now we are into the AWS EC2 console and here you can see I have already launched two EC2 instances. I have named the first instance as public server because I launched it in the public subnet of the VPC and you can see that this instance also has a public IPv4 address. I named the other instance as private server because I launched it in the private subnet of the same VPC and you can see this instance does not have a public IPv4 address. Now guys the reason we call this public server as Bastion host is just because this instance is launched in a public subnet and we use that instance to access our instances in a private subnet and in our case we will access this private server instance. Uh, through this public server. So there is uh, no other uh, reason behind that uh, we call this public server instance as Bastion host. It has nothing to do with the server configurations or anything. You could be running any operating system or any application on both of these instances guys. So now guys let me just uh, SSH into our public server and show you that how with the help of this public server we will be SSH into our private server. So for that let me just open putty and here let me just copy the IPv4 address of our public server. So this is the IPv4 address and then we will select the key pair of this public server and here you can see guys this server is attached with the WordPress EFS key pair. So I will select that. So this is the key pair guys. Let's select it. Click open. So as this server is running Debian. So I would use the username admin to log into the server. So here you can see guys we have successfully now SSH into our public server. So before we I show you guys how we can SSH into our private server there are a few things we would have to take care of. So first of all guys this is the SSH key pair of our private server and here you can see it's in a, a PPK format and uh, for the SSH purposes we would have to convert that to a .pem format. So I have already converted it to .pem but just to show you how it's done I am going to delete this one and show you from scratch that how we can convert a key pair from .ppk to .pem. So for that I would just open this software called putty gen. Click on load. Let's select our EC2 key our key pair that we want to convert to .pem. Ok it's selected. Now let's go to conversions. Export open SSH. Yes. So, ok so now let's name it something like ec2.pem. So basically guys the name of the key pair does not matter when we SSH. Only the data inside this key pair matters. Which is obviously our private key. So let's click on save. Ok so you can see guys we have successfully converted this key pair from .ppk to .pem. So now guys we will have to upload that key pair to our public instance and for that we have two options. Either we can use FileZilla to upload that file or we have another option to use the Linux SCP command which also works in Windows to upload that file to our public server and in this video I am going to show you the second option. So here is the command guys. So let me just explain you the syntax of this command. So this is SCP the name of the command. Minus I is the option. 
this wordpress efs.ppk is the ssh key pair of our public instance which is this instance guys and this is the name of the file that we want to upload to our public instance and in this case the file we want to upload is named as ec2 key pair but let's name it as ec2.pem because here the name is ec2.pem okay and now what is this so this is the username guys remember when i ssh into our public instance i used the username admin so this is that username after add sign is the ipv4 address of our public instance server so here you can see this is our public server and there is the ipv4 address and after that guys there is a colon and after the colon we define the path so basically the directory in which we want to upload that file and it's very important guys that the directory you are selecting this user admin should have the permission to access that directory otherwise this file will not upload and let me just demonstrate you let's say uh, let's select this uh, forward slash directory basically this is the directory that is only accessible by the root user and not the admin and if i will execute that command guys you will see the error will come up now let me open the windows command line guys and show you how we can transfer the key pair of our private ec2 instance to our directory on our public server so for that let me just type cmd let's open this one okay so the command line is now open now now let's navigate to the folder in which we have our ec2 instances key pair so let's go there cd downloads cd ec2 instances okay let me just see so here you can see guys we have our all of our key pairs present in this folder so let's just copy this command from here let's paste it here guys and uh, okay guys so before pasting that command let me just tell you that uh, we have to also convert the wordpress efs key pair which is the key pair of our public server from .ppk to .pem and now let me just execute the command and first of all you would see that the command would not work so let's just paste it so here you can see it is com the command is running but we got the error permission denied why guys because this user admin does not have access to the root directory of the server only the root user of the server has access to it so before executing the command make sure you put the right directory here so to make this command run i would put the directory slash home slash admin which is the directory that belongs to this admin user and now guys you will see that this command would run successfully so let me just again paste it here so here you can see guys the command ran successfully it says 100 percent and the file has been transmitted so now let me open the putty so here you can see we have already logged into our ssh into our public server so now let's navigate to the directory slash home slash admin and see if the file is actually there or not so you can see guys this file is there ec2.pem so now guys we will have to change the permissions of this file so that this file is only accessible by our user admin so for that i would type the command chmod 600 ec2.pem so okay great guys so now let's this is the actual command guys that we will use to ssh into our private ec2 instance so here you can see this is the command name ssh minus i is the option ec so here we will put the name of our uh, ssh key pair of our private ec2 instance so the ssh key pair name is ec2.pem so i would type here ec2.pem and here the username as our private ec2 instance is also running debian so the username would be admin and what is this address guys so if i take you my ec2 ec2 console this is our private server let's click here 
you can see guys this is the private ipv4 address of our private server so let's just copy that you can see it's 10.0.25.25 and here it's also 10.0.25.25 so let me just copy that command guys let's go here let's paste it okay the uh, i think we copied something extra as well so let's just paste the command here guys and now when i will press enter you will see that we will ssh into our private instance so i just pressed enter it is asking do we want to connect let's type yes so you can see guys here is the private ipv4 address of our private server which means we have successfully ssh into our private server which does not have any ipv public ipv4 address so that's how easy it is guys now before i uh, <clears throat> end this video let me show you one more thing if i type here ping google.com so you can see guys we are not getting any response back from this website why because our public uh, our private ec2 instance does not have access to the internet and in the next video i am going to show you exactly how we can enable access internet access to our private ec2 instance without making it public so now let me press control c so you can see 24 packets transmitted but zero received so the packet loss is 100 percent which means no data was sent to the internet and to get out of this uh, private ec2 instance guys you would just have to type this command exit and here you can see logged out and now you are back into your public server which is in the public subnet so if here i would type ping google.com guys so you can see we are successfully getting response from the internet why because this server has internet access so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys like the video and if you did then please make sure to smash the like button comment if you have any questions and so sub please subscribe to the channel because it motivates me to produce amazing content for you thank you very much guys take care